the U.S. Department of Energy, DOE, and contractor CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company, a Jacobs company, CHPRC, are reducing risks at the Hanford site in Washington State. Following the partial collapse of a waste storage tunnel at the Plutonium Uranium Extraction Plant, Purex, in May 2017, DOE and CHPRC analyzed other older underground structures in Hanford's former plutonium production area, known as the Central Plateau, to determine if any other structures represented a risk of age-related failure. In 2018, 27 structures that may need risk mitigation work were identified. Analysis and evaluation identified three underground liquid waste disposal structures that represented the highest risk, requiring stabilization to prevent a collapse and the potential to spread contamination. The three structures will be stabilized by filling them with controlled density fill, CDF, or engineered grout, depending on the structure. CDF is more fluid than engineered grout, enabling it to flow more easily in any gaps and joints present in the structures. The structures, the 216Z2 crib, the 241Z361 settling tank, and the 216Z9 crib are located within the radiologically controlled area established for demolition of the plutonium finishing plant. The Z2 crib operated from 1949 to 1969. Together with 216Z1, the cribs received about 10 million gallons of waste. An estimated 6.8 kilograms of plutonium remains in the structure. The 216Z2 crib will be filled with about 75 cubic yards of grout. The 241Z361 settling tank operated from 1949 to 1973. The tank contains an estimated 29 kilograms of plutonium. It will be filled with about 125 cubic yards of grout. The largest of the three structures, the Z9 crib, operated from 1955 to 1962. Z9 received approximately 1 million gallons of processed waste from the plutonium finishing plant and contains an estimated 48 kilograms of plutonium. The Z9 crib will be filled with about 4,000 cubic yards of CDF with a production rate of 250 cubic yards per day. When field operations begin, trucks will deliver engineered grout from an off-site plant to be pumped into the structures using a conveyance system connected to pipes, called risers, that stick out of the top of the structures. Workers will also lower lighting and cameras through the risers so they can monitor grout flow during placement. The risers will also be used to provide ventilation. Flexible ducting will connect a riser to a HEPA-filtered negative air machine and will control the escape of contaminated air from the structures. Existing filtered vents, also located on structure risers, will allow fresh air to enter. The engineered grout and CDF mixes will ensure the desired strength, high flowability, and self-leveling characteristics necessary to stabilize each structure. The mixes are designed to allow the product to fill the structure and all the voids surrounding the contents, stabilizing the radiological hazards. The product will be placed in lifts, a few feet at a time, with each lift curing before additional lifts are placed. This helps secure the contents of the structure as product is added. The product will stabilize the structures while not precluding future remedial actions or final closure decisions. An off-site mock-up of the CDF and grout conveyance system and placement demonstration was part of fieldwork preparations. Mock-ups are used extensively at Hanford to allow workers to train with tools and equipment and perfect means and methods all in a clean environment. This helps ensure project safety when work begins in the field. CDF and grout has been used safely to stabilize other structures at Hanford, including two waste storage tunnels next to Purex in 2017 and 2019. The success and lessons learned on the Purex Tunnel 1 and 2 stabilization projects were incorporated in the planning for stabilization of the aging structures. Stabilization is expected to be complete by the end of 2020.